Yo, what's good, YouTube? Malik coming at you guys with a brand new video. As you can tell from the title, wherever it is, today we'll be checking out a pair of Ball My Jeans for part two of my Let's Talk Denim series. Apparently, the streets has been waiting on this video, so without wasting any time, let's jump right into it. So first things first, we'll get into the packaging and how you can expect the denim to arrive. I actually picked these up from a personal shopper, which was a fairly enjoyable experience. I've been looking for this particular colorway for the longest and um, he was able to hook it up and it actually came straight from the house of Balmont which was great because he included you know all original tags and receipts so on and so forth so I can't really speak for every retailer but if you do get it from the online store at Balmont you can expect basically an oversized plastic bag truly nothing special there you do have Balmont logoing in the center with a little sticker at the bottom of the bag that basically is a brief description of exactly what you're getting Again, nothing really special with the packaging, but bam, there you go. Now we can get into the good stuff. Bam, here we have it. The Dirty Blue Balmain Biker Jeans. Like I said earlier, this was a colorway I was actually really looking for. Similar to the Saint Laurent Light Wash, it's just a really versatile color that you can rock with, you know, dark shoes, dark top, light shoes, light top, so on and so forth. So it was basically a color that I wanted to be able to wear with just about everything, especially for the price that you pay when you pick up a pair of jeans like these. So I'm sure you guys are already familiar with basically the overall construction of Balmain Biker Jeans or Biker Jeans in general, especially with so many brands making their own version of the style. But I do want to point out some of the details on these, starting with that infamous ribbed biker detailing. You can catch that on both panels on the front of the jeans and exactly on the back of it. The ribbed biker denim is really hard to explain, so I hope you guys are getting a really good look at it. But overall, it's really, really quality stuff. As you can tell, the craftsmanship on this particular pair looks, you know, top-notch. Tier 1 stuff for sure. You've got nice heavy stitching. And, and these actually feel really good on the leg just in general. That that this, this section of the jean feels just ideal on, like, your thighs and upper leg area. So I thought that was real dope. You've got more than enough pockets with four on the front and, of course, two on the back there. The back uh, pockets are basically regular compared to any other denim. You've got, you know, nice cut to it. But on the front, that those zip pockets are just awesome. I love the fact that the hardware is silver and really, really heavy, like quality, quality hardware. The pocket itself is fairly deep, but um, very convenient. If you got really important stuff or stuff you just really don't want to lose, I'd probably put that in that pocket. You can zip it shut and really have no worries about losing whatever that is. And last but certainly not least, I'll get into the fit of the denim, which for the most part is ideal. As you guys know, I look for a very particular fit when it comes to my denim, and that's a slim thigh with a really skinny taper, basically a really skinny leg. I'm skinny myself, so a slim leg itself just wouldn't work. This pair actually offers, you know, one of two features I really look forward to my denim, and that's the slim thigh. Like I said, it fits perfectly when it's on the leg and it feels really, really good. Unfortunately, the leg opening and just the taper itself isn't, isn't exactly what I'm looking for. It can work uh, for a couple of people, especially if you like pin rolling your jeans. But for me to be paying what I pay for the denim, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it tapered so I can really get just that ultimate fit because I really, really like for my jeans to stack perfectly in every shoe, but still go over any boot. So that's when you know you've got a really nice fit. Other than that, that is the biker jeans from Balmain. Once I do get them tapered, I'll be sure to show you guys a before and after of how the jeans fit. But that's going to do it for today's video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should, at Moss, you've already seen me style these jeans in a fit uh, for Adaptation 10. That outfit got a great response, so I'll be sure to break it down for my next video. So definitely stay tuned for that. As always, I truly appreciate all the continued support. And until next time, peace.